¿Qué pasó? Bienvenidos a un otro episodio de Joe's Record Store. Ahora yo estoy hablando acerca de una grupa buena de un país uh, junto a México que llame Guatemala. La mayoría de la población somos uh, indígenas. It's uh, Vox Day. Hey, I'm talking about a band from uh, the Latin American country called Guatemala, which is uh, right next to Mexico, borders Mexico. Um, I believe a majority of the population, they're, in, they're indigenous, oh, we call it indigenous or indios, uh, but uh, um, more like, you know, the original Mayans. I mean, they're... The bulk of them are, are Mayan people from, you know, way back when, you know, when the Mexican Empire was, or the, you know, when was bigger, you know, before the settlers came, or the Mayan Empire. And uh, this is, uh, again, is uh, part of my Christian rock collecting adventures. I got these tapes in the mid-90s. Uh, they're called Vox Day, and uh, they're... Uh, It's a Christian rock band, and and, and they sing in Spanish, and uh, which you know I I like is you know, I can practice my language a bit, my language skills, uh, and um, pretty really musically, they really weren't that original, and you know by the time you know these came out in the 90s. I mean, the style of music was pretty much considered, you know, not hip and out of date in the States, but, you know, all in all, it was good. And they, they got a good review in, in uh, HM. That's how I found out about these guys. And I bought them, and I bought them from a, a mail order Christian music distributor in the States. I mean, I, and I had to have it just because it's from Latin America. And I do have, you know, part of me does come from that part of the world. But, uh, you know, um, It's, uh, how would you say, you know, right, you know, right after Mexico, I mean, there's Guatemala and, you know, and, and the rest and all the way down until you hit Colombia, that's Central America. So they're like, they're the top of Central America. And then Panama, my country is, you know, the very bottom of that little thin land. Anyway, uh. Um, all in all, just good, straightforward, evangelistic rock. Like, you know, one of the songs is Dale Hoy Tu Vida En Cristo, which means, you know, give your life to Jesus today. You know, real simplistic. You know, if you like the the harder side of Petra and White Heart, I mean, that that's what I can compare it to. And there's one track on this one where I think, you know, they deliberately lifted a guitar solo from Striper's Free and put it in their own song. But, you know, I can't hate them for it because... I mean, you know, Latin America, especially Central America, I mean, any kind of, you know, rock or metal, let alone Christian rock, you know, it's a big deal for us. And and just that, you know, and it's something, you know, I personally can relate to because, you know, I am related to the Latino culture. culture and, um... Again, you know, just like any uh, ministry-oriented band in the States, except they're in Spanish. This came out in 1990, um, which uh, I still, I gotta rewind the tape. Or there's, it kind of got disarray, so, but, you know, I'm good at, you know, fixing old stuff, old cassettes and stuff. But I'm not gonna play it anymore, you know, if I, uh, until, unless... You know, that's to put it on another format, but you know, this is definitely a good classic, and you know, it would be nice if there's a CD edition of it. But, uh, and this is uh, Tora Fuerte, and you know, just more hard, just hard rock, really, just evangelistic hard rock. This one you know, is a little more on the pop rock side, but you know, still, you know, good, straightforward songs. Cabezas de metal. You know what that means? Metal heads. Pac-Man. I guess they like 80s video games. Golgota, Hermanos contra Hermanos, Brothers against Brothers, El Amor no se compra, The Love is not for sale, Suidad distante, you know, means Distant City, which is the title of this album. Míralo. Votore Fuerte. Strong bull. Uh, just, you know, again, you know, what can I say? It's, uh, 
you know, really good for, you know, that, uh, for that period in, and of course, you know, with the internet now, I mean, you can hear bands from freaking Antarctica if you want to. But, you know, back then, you know, the internet wasn't quite into play. So, I mean, any news of any band, you know, from, you know, the seemingly least likely locations or where you'd least expect to have any kind of rock scene was, I mean, it was a big deal. And uh, what can I say? Uh, you know, this is a really good one for Latin America. In Central America, to be more specific, I know, um, I know White Cross uh, had a great, uh, they were a sensation when they played there back in the early 90s. And again, you know, thank you for watching uh, Joe's Record Store Christian Rock and Metal Edition. Rock on, stay metal.